Understanding Equatorial Stars, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating topic, equatorial stars. This phrase might sound complex, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. Whether you're an aspiring astronomer or just curious about English phrases, this video will shed light on what equatorial stars mean and how they are used in English. Equatorial stars is a compound noun made up of two words, equatorial and stars. Let's look at each word separately. The word equatorial refers to something related to the equator, which is an imaginary line around the middle of the Earth. It's equidistant from both the North and South Poles. The word stars, as many of you might know, refers to the bright objects we see in the night sky. They are actually distant suns, emitting their own light. So, when these two words come together, they describe a specific group of stars. Now, let's dive deeper into the concept. Equatorial stars are stars that are located near the celestial equator. This is an imaginary extension of the Earth's equator into space. These stars have a unique characteristic. They can be seen from almost anywhere on Earth. This universality makes them quite significant in both astronomy and in various cultures. Unlike stars that are close to the poles, equatorial stars don't appear to move much in the sky, providing a constant in the night. In English, the phrase is used both literally and metaphorically. Literally, it's used in astronomy and geography to describe these stars' position in the sky. Metaphorically, equatorial stars might be used in literature or poetry to signify something constant, accessible, or universal. For example, an author might write, their love was like the equatorial stars, visible and steady from any part of the world. I hope this video has illuminated the meaning of equatorial stars for you. It's a phrase that not only enhances our understanding of the stars above us but also enriches our English vocabulary. Keep looking up, both at the night sky and in your journey with the English language. See you in our next video, and remember, every word you learn lights up a new part of the world. 